media that will transmit to the satellite the video and audio information. That in turn is then broadcast. Sorry. No, that's not, that's not. Can you describe for us what's the use of INSAT-1 as it's being used now for India? Yes, INSAT-1 is being used for communications, meteorological weather forecasting, as well as direct broadcast television for the government of India. I understand that uh, a person that's out on the farm can hire, put together some wire and can use that with, uh, for an antenna based on the uh, fact that the INSAT-1 antenna broadcast is so strong. Is that true? Well, it would require more than just a piece of wire. It would require a very small but inexpensive dish, a receiving antenna. And yes, it can be used uh, out in the remote areas where communications has never been provided before, either communications or television. When you say inexpensive dish, uh, how much would you, are you talking about? Well, in American dollars, I could only express it there, uh, probably less than $200 uh, per station for the antenna. Uh, the electronic part of it, or the radio part, would probably cost an additional amount. But in America, we're now beginning to design these things for approximately $1,000. Can you tell us the uses of the Intelsat 5 program? Intelsat 5 satellite is used for global communications by the International Telecommunications Satellite Organization. It's headquartered in Washington, D.C. There are 106 uh, member nations to, to Intelsat. Can you describe they, what uses the Intelsat has? And the, the satellite is to provide communications and television on a global basis. By positioning satellites over the Indian Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, and the Pacific Ocean basins, they can cover the entire world with telecommunications. And it's now an operating system with satellites over the Atlantic and the Indian Ocean. This, these di uh, these uh, exhibits are one-fourth the size of the actual thing? Yes, the actual satellite is four times the size. It is the world's largest uh, communication satellite at this point in time. And what? it's also the latest technology as a three-axis stabilized satellite. What is that? Well, there are essentially two different processes by which you can stabilize the satellite in space, by spinning body or by internal mechanism to stabilize the satellite. And this one is, is that newest technology. What future breakthroughs do you see uh, in, the, in the field of intercommunications between nations through the use of outer space? This is the mechanism or the means by which nations can talk to each other, increase commerce, increase an understanding with each other. The satellite provides that, that capacity to, to be used. Thank you. Just, I have one question. I just want to show the globe, get the global. Okay. Can you describe for us how Intosat 5 and Insat 1 operate with the, 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 the global picture you have in front of you? I'll, I'll ask the question again. I'm sorry. Can you describe the exhibit that you have here before you now? This exhibit illustrates the globe as it turns and the orbiting satellite as or the orbiting satellites with respect to the positions of the globe. There are three kinds of satellites in this exhibit. There is the meteorological satellite, the communication satellites, and weather satellites, or observation satellites. Principally, the INTSAT satellite, or INTELSAT, is coming around. These are in a fixed position looking at the, at the Pacific Ocean, or the Indian Ocean, or the Atlantic Ocean basins. And then the INSAT satellite, which will be coming around in a few moments here, uh, is in a position looking at India. Uh, the lights on the globe represent the Earth stations that communicate to the satellite and between the satellites. That's essentially the, uh, you'd have to cut there. Would you, would you please turn around, yeah. turn around, just, just look out at it. Uh, can you have him just looking at it? Take, take, some, take some film.